Kenworth is not the first company to produce a hydrogen fuel cell powered electric truck, but it is the first company to open its doors to the press and offer a test drive. Toyota is testing a truck in the Los Angeles area right now, and ironically, it's using a Kenworth T660 chassis. And then there's Nikola. They've promised a hydrogen fuel cell powered truck by 2019, but nobody's seen one in action yet. I drove Kenworth zero emissions cargo transporter in February, and you know what? It's pretty cool. The truck is a T680 chassis modified with a 3,500 pound battery pack and a hydrogen fuel cell system from Ballard Power. There are six compressed gas storage tanks behind the cab containing a total of 30 kilograms of hydrogen. That amount of hydrogen has about the same energy as 30 gallons of diesel fuel. Electricity is produced by a fuel cell and stored in the batteries and the truck has a usable range of about 150 miles. The truck weighs 22,000 pounds, while a typical T680 day cab weighs about 16,000. Here's Kenworth's Director of Product Planning, Stefan Olson, to explain the project. This is a T680 tractor designed for drayage cargo applications. Uh, it is running at 100% zero emissions utilizing a hydrogen fuel cell powering an electric drivetrain. This is a concept vehicle that uh, we've been developing over the past couple years and we're currently in the testing process of the concept and are going to be rolling it out in actual commercial transport in the next couple of months down in Los Angeles. Our, our intent of this truck is to demonstrate and understand and test technologies that we think are going to be required in the near future, the next five to seven to 10 years to deliver zero emissions freight hauling capability. Here's a quick walk around of some of the hydrogen and electric systems on the truck with the manager of Kenworth's R&D Center, Brian Lindgren. The Kenworth T680 day cab like we normally sell, but instead of a, a Pack RMX engine under the hood, this one has the, the Ballard 85 kilowatt fuel cell. Um, and uh, yeah, the business end is here. The hydrogen comes in right in here. We pump air in this way. We've got some cooling lines. The exhaust actually comes out right here. And so we're exhausting it up into the hood and then through some duct work up here and then we the steam comes out mostly up there. Uh, we learned that we, we can seal it a little bit better in the future, so we'll get a little steam that leaks out here and there. But it's, it's clean steam, so it's healthy, not something to worry about. Power comes out through these cables here and, um, and runs back to the batteries or to the motor a little further back. The hydrogen is all stored back here. So we've got six of these bottles like this inside. And as I mentioned, we store it at 350 bar or 5,000 PSI. But you can see there are a lot of smart valves in there. Uh, if any one tank loses pressure quickly, then the system says, ooh, there must be a leak. And it shuts off that tank and isolates it from the others so that you don't lose all of the tank, all of the hydrogen. The hydrogen goes to the fuel cell. The fuel cell generates electricity. The batteries are underneath the cab, and they go from about here to about here and across the truck. Uh, we've got low voltage batteries in here also because we the lighting is all 12 volt and the cab runs on 12 volt, uh, so we need some low voltage as well. Um, and then we've got some uh, power electronics tucked in a little bit around it as well. The motors are hard to find, but they are right in the middle, right down here. Um, and so it's really hard to see them. The motors and the transmission are in that area, prop shaft back to, like I said, a, basically a standard rear axle on the back. Before we head out on the road, here are a few facts about the zero emissions T680. It's fueled by 66 pounds of hydrogen, which takes about 10 minutes to fill. It uses a 100 kilowatt hour battery. It's powered by a 420 kilowatt motor, which is equal to about a 560 horsepower diesel engine. It'll run well beyond 65 miles per hour, but it's governed here to 65. The motor produces enough torque to start the truck on a 20% grade, and it can maintain 30 miles per hour on a 6% grade. 
It's powered by a Ballard Power HC85 proton exchange membrane fuel cell, and it's driven through a modified Eaton transmission with a standard Spicer drive axle with a 5.38 ratio. Now let's hit the road. So we're just leaving the technical center here in Mount Vernon. Uh, got the thing in first gear, and you'll not be able to hear anything on the mics. I'm gonna put my foot into it. You still can't hear anything. We take off like Jack the Bear. A lot of torque in this thing, and it just gets this truck rolling with absolutely no difficulty whatsoever. We're driving this truck at speed, right now we're cruising along at 40 miles an hour. Uh, it's utterly no different than uh, any other T680. Uh, except that it's very, very quiet. Uh, but the power and torque are there, the response from the pedal is there. When you put your foot into it, it goes. When you take your foot out, it slows down a little bit. Uh, the control array is essentially the same. Uh, the speedometer reads the same, obviously. The tachometer reads a little different. The engine revs are quite a bit higher. Uh, 3,000, for example, as opposed to maybe 12, which you're used to. And uh, the only other display that's here that's any different from a conventional truck is the uh, the battery charge meter which is mounted into the driver display on the dash so it gives you an indication of what the system's doing but uh, you know the driving experience I have to say is uh, uh, I'd go so far as to say it's better because it is quiet and very responsive to the throttle input so uh, I just wonder going forward if they don't dial that torque back a little bit how they'll keep tires on this thing because it really takes off from a standing start and the hydrogen side of this system for me as a driver is invisible i don't see it i don't have to respond to it there's nothing i do i can't smell it uh, there's nothing for me to touch or operate as far as i'm concerned this is a battery electric vehicle powered by a hydrogen fuel cell so that's our little uh 10 minute ride around the block as it were from the packard technical center in the new uh zero emissions transport vehicle brand new from kenworth a modified t680 uh, electric powered fueled by a hydrogen fuel cell and uh, quite a remarkable vehicle um, all the energy and power you need right there uh, we're pulling 80,000 pounds just shy of 80,000 pounds with it and uh, frankly it feels like it's about half loaded there's so much torque in this uh, in this motor that's a quick look at Kenworth's prototype zero emissions cargo transporter. It's scheduled to go into revenue service with total transportation services at the ports of LA and Long Beach in March. At the Packard Technical Center in Mount Vernon, Washington, I'm equipment editor Jim Park.